guys! Welcome to Al Ula. In this video, I want to show you what to do and experience in Al Ula in Saudi Arabia. Thanks to a well thought out development plan, this once important but long forgotten region of Saudi Arabia has become a major destination for tourists interested in culture, art and nature. From exploring ancient tombs to visiting historic sites, we will show you the best that Al Ula has to offer. So get ready to discover the hidden gem of Saudi Arabia. What to do? Number 1. Hikra Welcome guys to the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Hegra. Hikra is Saudi Arabia's first UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here you will explore over 110 remarkably well-preserved tombs of the Nabataean Kingdom. The site constitutes the kingdom's southernmost and second largest city after Petra. You can only visit via guided tour. You can experience Hikra during the day with a three-hour tour or at night. I would not choose one or the other, but do both as the experiences are very different. During the day you see more tombs, including the famous standalone tomb. And during the night you stay at one place fully covered with lights. The way of transportation is a horse carriage and afterwards you can watch a live theater showing Nabataeans life back then. Elephant Rock. And the name already describes what you are going to see. This place is only open after 4 pm. You can go alone and you don't need a tour. It's nice to enjoy your evening here and relax in the sitting areas. The whole place is lighted in the evening and there are often shows and festivities. Number 3. Mariah Mariah means mirrors in Arabic and you probably saw this building already on Instagram because it's pretty unique. It's the world's largest mirrored building. But did you know that it's a concert hall and that famous artists like Usher, Mariah Carey or One Republic already performed here? Probably not. The whole building 9740 square meters or 105,000 square feet to be exact is made of mirrored glass in a location no one would expect. The catch is however that you can't just go there and visit it. You can only see it if you have tickets to an event or are a guest in a resort in the Asha Valley. The whole valley is closed to the public and monitored by security with gates. But there's good news. You can visit it if you make a restaurant reservation at the Habitat O'Banion Tree Hotel. Speaking of the Habitat Hotel, I first heard of Al Ula when seeing posts on Instagram from the Habitat Hotel. It's a beautiful hotel you should add to your bucket list, if you can afford it, as it's pretty pricey. They have cool playgrounds, like swings between the desert rock formation or trampolines.
and a very impressive pool. It couldn't be any more beautiful. You can also cycle along the estate, book yoga or meditation or even join the sound healing class. The food at the restaurant is also pretty amazing. Number 5. Dadan and Chapel Igma. Dadan is another heritage site where you can see tombs carved into a giant rock. Again, you can only see them via guided tour. But unfortunately, at the moment, you don't see much because you don't go closer to the tombs. You will look at them from the visitor center, that's it. And to the visitor center, you could also go alone. On Chapel Igma, you can see thousands of pre-Arabic inscriptions. Again, it's only allowed to go there by tour and there is not so much info provided at the moment. There are plenty more places around Alula where you can see these inscriptions. So if you are on a budget, check out the other places out on your own. Number 6. The Alula Oasis the Al Ula Oasis stretches 3 kilometers from the Orange Pass to the Dadan Visitor Center. You can go alone without a tour and walk around the oasis where palm trees and old mud houses surround you. You should definitely visit the Pink Camel Cafe. They have the best breakfast in town and it's a beautiful location. Number 7. The historical old town and Tantura Castle. The old town is divided into two parts, the new old town and the old old town. The new old town is already completely renovated where you can visit shops and find many restaurants and cafes. There is also a visitor center where you can book all tours. The old old town is closed and can only be visited via guided tour. On tour you will walk through the maze of houses and climb up the Tentara castle from where you have a fantastic view over the houses and town. Our guide told us however that the first street where you enter the old town is open for everyone so you should be able to pass the barrier and go there but please check if this info is still up to date. Number 8. A helicopter ride. If you want the bird's eye view over Alula, you should join a helicopter ride. You will not regret it. You will see everything from above within 30 minutes and get a good picture of Alula. The ride is also bookable via the Experience Alula site. My tip, check for sunset to have the best light.
Number 9. A Stargazing Tour you can go with Husak Adventure on a stargazing tour, where we will drive with the car to an isolated location away from light pollution and learn about the stars and how the Bedouins navigated themselves through the desert by using the stars. We went on a full moon, which was nice because we had good visibility in the desert and could go for a night walk, but I would only go again on a new moon to see the stars. Number 10. The Shalal Café. This coffee place is hidden between rocks in a valley you can only reach by walking through the rocks, which is already an experience. At the end of the pathway you will reach the Shalal Café, where you can relax with a cup of coffee and some dates. There is a minimal entrance fee at the beginning. Speaking of a cafe, another must visit place is the Anywhere restaurant, where you can eat amazing food in a super nice atmosphere and have views over the oasis. Lastly, you can drive up to the Alula viewpoint to have a bird's eye view over the entire city and region. This is especially rewarding during sunset. Alright, that's it for now with my highlights. But there's plenty more to do, like enjoying the beautiful desert via Quad, visiting Desert X, going one of the many hikes, climbing, upsailing, and I could continue forever. So visit Alula with enough time. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.